Hello everyone, and this is physics. Now you might be saying to yourself, oh, physics, I can't learn physics, far too hard, way too difficult for me. And I say to you, no, 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 you already know physics. Physics is nothing more than the study of nature. Just by being alive, you are interacting with nature. Consequently, you are learning about physics. It just hasn't been explained to you. For instance, I take this item and I let go of it, you already know what's going to happen. What physics course will do is take what you already know and kick it up a notch. Eh, maybe two. I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Consider these two nails that I have here. These are finishing nails. I'm going to try to balance one finishing nail on top of the other one. Here's the head of the one nail, the tip of the other nail. Try and balance it on here. You already know that if I try to do it like this, it's going to fall down from your experiences. If I take these two nails and I place them into a cork. I have pressed one nail inside of this cork and there's the head of the nail right here. And the other nail is inside of this cork and here's the tip. And if I try to balance this tip on here, you already know that it's not going to balance. This knowledge which you have gained as a result of your experiences is known as experiential learning. I have it, you have it. Everybody has experiential learning. Nothing more than just interacting with nature. Taking these, I'm going to take this a step further. I have here a bottle of wine. And I made a base just so the, the wine doesn't tip over. I have on here a table, which you can't see. I'm going to place the bottle of wine inside the holder on top of the table and put the cork back in the very top here. I'm going to try and balance this on top of that nail. And as you already know, it's not going to work. The reason it doesn't work is the center of gravity of this item is about here. The balancing point is down here. As long as the center of gravity is above the balancing point, it's unstable and this will fall down. What we need to do is change the center of gravity from up here above the balancing point and bring it down below the balancing point. We can do that by adding some mass to this cork in a special way, like this. Now I'm going to balance the nail. And there it is. Isn't that beautiful? And it's stable. The system is stable. And this word system, it's a combination of components that perform a specific task. The word system is often used but rarely explained. This is a system. It's a combination of items, the, the wine bottle, the cork, the nails, in order to perform a specific task. And this specific task right here is to balance the nails on top of each other. You see here, there are other systems. Okay. Automotive braking system. Again, it has components that perform a specific function. That's to stop the car. It's, it's a good thing. And you'll learn more about this in fluid mechanics. Or there is the power system electrical system which is supplying electricity here to my office. Again, a combination of items which perform a specific task, namely well, the electricity. And we can also apply physics to the body with some assumptions. Physics can also be applied to the body and here is the circulatory system. Again, the word system, a combination of items, the heart, the blood, blood vessels, in order to perform a specific function in this particular case, you know, keeping us alive. And here is a system, again with the bottle in order to, to balance the nails. And notice what's happening right now. The other thing that physics will teach you to do is it will allow you to look and see. Everybody looks, but few people see. Physics will allow you to see via knowledge and your imagination. Well, everybody is looking at this bottle here with the, the, uh, the nails balanced on each other, but do you see Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion, part A, says an item at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an external force. And that in itself is good for a separate video. And I just love this. 
and the system is stable because the center of gravity is down here below the balancing point. And when it comes to a stop, it will demonstrate Newton's first law of motion yet again. Here it is. An item at rest will remain at rest unless disturbed by an external force. Newton's first law of motion, part A. And with that, even if I lift this up, it's still stable. Look at that. And this is physics.